been in the city going crazy with them poles. I been getting money, I just pieced a couple loads. And these niggas claim they kill us, but I swear these niggas hoes. Man, man, I swear these niggas hoes. Talking on the low, but the city really know. I been getting dough and I been sticking to the code. And I ain't pressed about a bitch, can give a fuck about a hoe. Yeah, keep talking, I'ma take off. Man, y'all know what's going on, man. It's your boy, FMG Capo, man. Capo Vision TV. Before I get this video started, man, make sure y'all go and subscribe to the channel. Make sure y'all press that like button. As a matter of fact, y'all go and press that like button right now. Make sure you comment on what's going on in the video. Now, this video right here is about the producer, Hit Boy. Um, when he was at the pinnacle of his career, he was at the pinnacle. He was at the top of his career. He just dropped that ends in Paris with that Jay-Z and Kanye. And he ran through a whole bunch of M's trying to keep it real with his homeboys, breaking bread with everybody, paying for everybody to do different stuff. And this is what happened. So like, damn, thinking back, because nigga, I had at 24, I had a big ass label and artist deal with Jimmy Iovine. This is coming off niggas in Paris, like the height, height, height of like just like being you a popping producer. After that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, get a deal. I get M's. I go get a crib in Tarzana in the valley. I move all the homies in. The homies start moving they homies in. Oh, they yeah. homies start moving they homies in. And oh, it just got like in incredibly fucked up. I got a big ass mansion with five studios in it. All my artists living with me. It was just a recipe for disaster. But that's what niggas come from. Niggas come from having nothing. So when you come up, you want to put your homies on. You want to have... Just like them opportunities to provide, but that shit don't always work out how you think it's gonna work Wait, out. Wait, how that shit turn out? Like, nigga, that shit left me. I'm gonna say I turned up 2012, got dumb bread. Turned by 2017, I was laying on my ground with zero dollars on my account after having millions. You're lying. Balled up in a fetus, crying, nobody around me by myself, and I was living in a mansion in Beverly Hills. Man, so me personally, you feel me? I've been through. You feel me? That type of situation, you know what I'm saying? And really, you know, with dudes and stuff, like it's all good when the money coming in, when you fitting the bill for everything, you a real one, you know what I'm saying? That's how it go, you feel me? Like when you blowing through your bag, making sure everybody straight or whatever, like you consider the real one. But as soon as you go broke, just like he said, you feel me? Ain't going to be nobody there for you, you know what I'm saying? Because initially, they wasn't messing with you just being authentic. You see what I'm saying? It was about what you could do for them, what you can do for people. A lot of people are only around for what you can do for them. And once they run out for what you can do for them, guess what? You're going to be on your butt all by yourself. You see what I'm saying? You know, it's all good when people can get things from you, benefit off. The things that you do, but as soon as that, as soon as that cut, man, it's over. You know what I'm saying? I done been through a couple situations like that in life, just messing around with people. You know what I'm saying? But as soon as you stop giving, now you fake. Now you ain't a real one. Now oh, he didn't went broke. Nah, nah, bro. Homie just decided to cut y'all off and got to think about itself because at the end of the day, when you go broke. Ain't nobody going to have your back but you. You see what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you might think these people around you is real ones. They'll look out for you if you ever hit rock bottom. But at the end of the day, man, you're going to be lonely. They say it's lonely at the top. Well, it's very lonely at the bottom, man. You feel me? Y'all let me know what y'all think about what Hit Boy was saying, man. You feel me? He had a whole bunch of dudes that was around. He had his label. You know, he was feeding them, investing into their music. Um, just investing in daily stuff, probably cars, probably different things like that, food, and you know what I'm saying? Um, some millions, that's a lot of money. But when you got a lot of mouths to feed, probably the millions are just, you'll run through the millions like that, and then you already having expensive habits, man. You know what I'm saying? Like one thing people don't understand is the more money that you make, the more bad spending habits you acquire. You see what I'm saying? 
So for anybody who done had a little bit of money, I you feel me? I ain't never been rich, had no millions or nothing. But I done had a little bit of money, like some street money, like hood rich. You see what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, the more money you make, the more expensive your habits get. So you, if you was buying a little quarter a day, you start getting some money. Now you, now you blowing the zipper day. You know what I'm saying? You used to buy your little pair of J's. Probably every weekend when they drop, but now it's Balenciagas and Fendi's, and you see what I'm saying. So your habits get more expensive. You see what I'm saying. So it's easy to run through that bread like that, man. Y'all, let me know what y'all think about the hit boy situation, man. Like this video, man. Drop something in the comments. Let me know about what y'all think about the situation, man. It's FMG.